Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here from Cinema Sound, and it's a very exciting time here as we get ready for NAB 2019, but nothing more exciting this week, the week before NAB, than the update to all of the Adobe software, including Adobe Audition. We're here in Adobe Audition, and if you've never looked at or opened Adobe Audition, we invite you to come and download our Adobe Audition 1, 2, 3 products so you can get up to speed and uh, get real facility with this incredible digital audio workstation. One of the things that we've been talking about for a while is how do we do ADR in Adobe Audition since there's no loop record and there's still no loop record. But they've just put in a feature in the record called punch and roll recording that makes ADR recording and loop recording not only way easier, but super fast and maybe a little better than just straight loop recording. Let me show you what this is. So I've got my dialogue here. Check it out. Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here with Cinema Sound with another dose of how to do orchestral blah 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 and probably even wearing the same thing that I was wearing in the video, crazy. So what we do is we right click or uh, control click, we get punch and roll mode and watch what happens. I'm just going to mute this track for a second and just hit record with this on. What is happening here? Crazy. There's a count in with your video. And hi, everybody. I'm Mark Edward Lewis with Cinema Sound. And today we're going to whatever I'm going to say. And there was a count in. Totally dope. Well, in fact, we can control that count in as long as you have a video present by going to playback and recording. And there it is, punch and roll, just right there, which is super, super dope. And we can change this. We'll just call this for now two uh, seconds. All right, well, let's say I wanted to do ADR and just do a whole bunch of takes all at once. Well, I can do that. Let's just hit this again. And forgive my horrific performance. Hey, everybody. Mark Edward Lewis here from Cinema Sound with another dose of how to... Oh, I didn't like that. I'm going to hit a special key command, and it drops back and keeps my take. Hey, everybody. Mark Edward Lewis here from Cinema... No, I don't like that. Go back. It keeps my take. Gives it to me again. Keeps everything organized. Hey, everybody. Mark Edward Lewis here from Cinema Sound. And today with another dose of... Oh, I got it wrong again. Notice the takes are increasing. This is 26. Because I've been doing this for a while, and I'm still getting it wrong. Oh, no. Go again. La 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 la. Da, 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 da. Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here from Cinema Sound with another dose of how to. Let's see how that worked. I'm going to put these together. Disarm, unmute. Uh, hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here with Cinema Sound with another dose of how to do. Still needs work. But now, if I wanted to, I could just mute this track and take, while holding down shift, drag out the ones that I don't like, but keep them in the timeline. And I'm holding shift to keep them in sync. Aha, there's the one that I want, even though it was terrible. And I can mute the rest of these and keep them for safekeeping on a track and then, you know, obviously minimize it if I want to. It's a fantastic way of keeping ADR and the, close, the closest thing we've seen to loop record and maybe a little better. Let's look at the next cool thing that's in Adobe Audition. And that is this, zoom to selected clips. Now, a lot of times we can zoom in and try to get, like, if I wanted to fill the screen with this clip, I could by doing this and, you know, fooling around and going like this, which is fine. But there's a way more, way more better way to do this. Let's go here. I'm going to click on the object I want. I'm going to go to view, zoom to selected clips. Bang. Now the object takes up the entire timeline, which is totally dope, right? Super dope. Cool. In fact, we can do this to the video track if we want. Here, view, zoom, to select a track, bang. Now I got the whole timeline. Or I can easily go back, or I suppose I could do that if I want, which I really don't want to do. We go back here. Uh, go back to this little thing right here. View, zoom, to selected clips. And of course, you can use toggle keys to go back and forth or set zoom presets, which is so super cool. Now, the next thing that's super cool, and I knew this was coming, is ambience ducking in the essential sound panel. So I'm going to find my uh, ambience here. There's my ambience track. I'm going to unmute it. And we're going to leave this dialogue track in here while also muting the one that we had before. That's fine. Uh, we're going to do this. I'm going to zoom to selected clips so I see the whole ambience track. There it is. Uh, hey, everybody. Mark Edward Lewis. Nice sound. Now I'm going to go to the essential sound panel. Check this out. And as you know, you can select any clip the way you want as dialogue, music, sound effects are now ambience, which is cool. I'm going to select this, make it dialogue so that it knows what it is. I'm going to select this and now make it ambience. And now look what's in ambience, ducking. I can go ducking like this to, and it will duck to whatever I have is selected. You can see it's already done some good work for me now. Let's see, I'm going to turn up the sensitivity. 
I'm going to turn down this so it doesn't move it so far and I'm going to make the fades much, much closer. And you can see it's already doing the work for me. Uh, hey, everybody. Let me go back a little bit so you can hear it better. Uh, hey, everybody. Mark Edward Lewis here from Cinema Sound with another dose of how to... Totally dope. Now with ambiences. Not just for breakfast anymore. The next cool thing that Audition has, we've been asking for it for a while, and while it's totally fine to hold down shift and move things vertically that keeps them locked into time, it would be great if we had a key command that does that, and now there is. And for me, I just have it selected as alt or option up and down arrow, but you can make it whatever you want. Super dope. And last but not least is the ability to do manual key frame entry. So here's that ambience thing that we were looking at here. I didn't mean to move that. Let's click on this little triangle, which will give us the volume envelopes. Let's make some envelopes here in addition to maybe that duck. Now, normally we can sit here and drag this, but it's somewhat imprecise. If I wanted to get between 3.3 and, you know, 3.8, it's going to be really hard for me to do that. But now if I right click or control click and edit keyframe, look at this. I can just go in here and type it to any value that I want, including some egregious values like this. So that's what's new in Adobe Audition right before NAB 2019. And if you've gotten any value out of this video at all, please subscribe to this channel and come visit us at cinemasound.com where we have hundreds and hundreds of blog posts and videos and an, the only 85 hour fully comprehensive education to get you the Hollywood unfair competitive advantage into your productions in sound and audio that you deserve. Until then, we'll see you in post.